This is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement for you today on this Thursday. Today we are going back to the Old Testament in the book of 1 Samuel. And in 1 Samuel chapter 12, um, and in the, the chapters you know around this, Israel had been begging for God through Samuel the prophet to give them a king so they could be like the nations around them. They wanted to have a king. They didn't like the idea that God was their king and that they didn't have this tangible figurehead and and kingdom structure like other nations did. Samuel went to God and God said, well, tell them the truth of what's going to be like if they have a human king and how that's going to be not a good thing, but actually a negative. Um, But if that's what they want, I will allow it and I will guide you to select a king. So Samuel goes through this steps. He tells them, he warns them what that's going to mean to have a king. And they said, no, 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 we still want a king. So through God's direction, Samuel brings them and it, um, a king in Saul and establishes the kingdom. But at the end of this time and presenting that uh, God will provide them with a king, Samuel says the following in verse 24 of chapter 12 of 1 Samuel. It says, but be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him. Think of all the wonderful things he has done for you. This applies to us in whatever situation we are in. Uh, many of us will sort of think about our world and our circumstances and say, boy, if we just had um, the right leader, if we just had the answer to this circumstance or that, if I just was able to start this new job, all these ifs, wishes, hopes, that that will be the answer. But guess what? <laughs> the answer is always in God. He's the one who's in charge. He's the one who guides and directs us. He's the one who decides the outcome of things, too. We, as Samuel advised, need to be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him talked about fear of the Lord. Fear is not be cowering with knees knocking when we think about God. Although if we encountered God, we would probably respond that way. Fear of the Lord is respecting him, honoring him, knowing that he is the king of the universe and we need to treat him that way. And then also faithfully serving him, allowing him to be the one calling the shots. He's the one guiding us and directing our actions. Everything we do should be to faithfully serve him. And then also think of all the wonderful things that he's done for you. Do you take time to reflect on the many blessings God has given you? Because that is part of our motivation then as we look ahead, when we realize how faithful God has been, how kind and generous he has been in so many ways. That will just give us more loyalty, more love for God, and recognize that he is on our side. So whatever your circumstance, don't look for the answers outside of God primarily. Honor him. Faithfully serve him. And reflect on all the blessings that he has done for you, because that will continue to motivate you to turn to him and recognize he's the one with the answers for us. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for your ongoing presence with us, that you have provided for us, that you have guided and done wonderful things for us in all that you provide for us and all the things that you guide us through and sustain us. We need to remember and reflect with gratitude on that more often because then that'll help us all the more to honor you, to faithfully serve you, And that all that we do should be with you as our king. So Lord, we thank you for what you've done. And we pray that this day and in the days to come, we will faithfully serve you and do everything so that you receive the honor and glory that you deserve. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again, 1 Samuel 12, 24. Be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him. Think of all the wonderful things that he's done for you. 
I hope that you will be filled with joy as you reflect on those wonderful things God has done. And then you will, with joy, faithfully serve him this day and in the days to come. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.